in a world. Four friends, one mission. Mikey, what are you doing? I'm doing the thing for the podcast. It's not that hard, bud. Dude, just say the name. Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. So then he says jabroni. Once again, bro, you can't. It's 2024. You can't say that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think that's a bad word. Yeah. I don't want to be the one to find out. I don't either. (laughs) I don't either. So I think we should just make up a slur mm-hmm. and just not tell us just like, like a oh, word. Oh, there's an old school word that like, has been going around the internet lately. That sounds extremely racist, but it's not at all. Really? And then I find, <laughs> no, I can't. Do tell. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I can't remember what that word is, but there's also a. Oh, you can't there's bring a, up a word you can't remember. I can't, but I, I, I know the first three letters it starts with. <laughs> What's it start with? <laughs> Uh, and, and, and oh, I'll go with so, one letter. It starts with an N? <laughs> yeah. Is there, um, is there any I's in there? There are. The, yep. You can buy a vowel if you want. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> um, but the, I also heard uh, there's there was another slang for elephant in, in the room. Okay. And I cannot say that one. Uh, but it is very interesting. Uh, <laughs> when I... When I saw that, because <laughs> it was used uh, up until like the middle of this past century. Like, guys, it wouldn't be the Freedom Friends if we didn't talk about our number one sponsor, Warfighter Tobacco. Obviously, you guys have seen us all smoke them. We're here to talk about a quality product that everybody can enjoy. The great equalizer, as we've called it, the Warfighter Tobacco Stick. And it's not just cigars. They've got humidors, travel humidors, cutters, lighters, everything you need to get started on that journey. Check out warfightertobacco.com and use that code FTFO. Score yourself that sweet, sweet 15%. If you want to know my personal favorite, I'm a 762 field guy. I like that Sumatra, real nice and even keeled cigar. Great for us beginner smokers, right? And I'm told that these taste even better when you're listening to the Freedom Friends podcast. Now, back to the show. This episode is brought to you by Grill Your Ass Off. It's no secret. We're all middle-aged dudes who love barbecue. Grill Your Ass Off is our name, main go-to for our spices. That's what we use, man. Whether you're doing burgers on the grill, steaks, or my personal favorite, a little bit of pork belly burn ends, right? They've got you covered on all of that. They also have salsas. They also have seasonings and spices. They got beer salts. They've got everything, man. Check them out. Grillyourassoff.com slash Freedom Friends Podcast or Use the code Freedom Friends Podcast at checkout. It was it was very interesting. Is there anything super offensive You're talking about the eight hundred pound gorilla? No, no, no. Let's no, address no. the eight hundred pound gorilla. Nope, that's not what it was. I was like, because that's not. It's only racist if you think it's racist. I guess <laughs> my phone won't even it auto corrects. <laughs> it's because you got a racist ass Siri. No, it it does the other way. So. <laughs> yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, check your phone. It's on yours, too. <laughs> oh, he put you in this fucking crew, too. <laughs> but that was a replacement for um, Elephant in the Room. <laughs> Dude, what year? Is same wow. meeting, same everything. I, have, I was like, I have never, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I have never heard that. I never did either. And uh, that's why I, that, that, that originated somewhere in the South. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it without saying it. It's the N word in the wood pile. I've never like, heard that. I have never heard. That. I've never heard it either. I'm it, a city boy from the North, bro. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty racist. Yeah. That's, yeah, I, that's really racist. I have never heard that be said before. And when a man of his age says and, that. What? <laughs> Even, but if 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 you guys said that in context, I don't know if I would get it. Like it doesn't. Like if I would have said instead, of, if I would have been like, well, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah, if you would have said, let's talk about the, and I would have, I don't know if I would have. Yeah, I don't think I would, I would have been like, whoa, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't think I would have understood. I'm like I don't know how to talk about this now. Jesus, like I don't have a wood pile. <laughs> you know it's that's weird i thought of a similar it's weird that we that this came up because i actually thought about a similar situation when i was in the marines that made me very uncomfortable okay and it was very very similar i had a leader he was a good dude he was a staff sergeant he was a big bald white dude and all right so you guys know i was an amphibious assault guy 
as you can imagine, our, my job involved the water and swimming quite often. So demographically, <laughs> demographically, we aren't a historically diverse group of people in my MOS, right? Very well put, sir. But occasionally, yeah. absolutely, right? Uh, and on one of those occasions was a guy I went to school with. And it just so happened that this, this leader of mine was my instructor. Was he a captain? No. I was going to say so he could go down with the ship. Like, nah. Uh, uh, he might have ended up that way. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I remember his name was Proctor. He's a good dude. He's a real good dude. And uh, he, had, he was dumber than fuck. And he said something so fucking dumb. It was one of those things like when one of your guys says something so fucking dumb and like the whole platoon is like, oh, and, and your fuck. first thought are who the fuck are your parents? Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it was it was it was one of those things. And I don't even remember what he said. Yeah, because what came out of my staff sergeant's mouth next made the entire platoon go, whoa, <laughs> it was <laughs> and this was in the late 90s. <laughs> and, it was, and we were just like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> and, he, and then he tried to like. He immediately, like, he saw the reaction from all of us. Yeah. And immediately, like, went on the defense and was like, what? We're cool like that. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure you hazed him yesterday, motherfucker. I don't think you guys are cool like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Like, yeah. Sucked. Yeah. Hazing was impartial. 100%. There was yeah, no yeah. emotion behind hazing. And there was definitely no racism. It's, all, it's, no. All, it's just business. Yeah. It was, That's it. There was a lot of E6 E2, E3, E4. But like as soon as the point was proven, yeah, it was over. That's true. Well, and honestly, a lot of the hazing we did prevented us from writing somebody up or it's, like, it, I guarantee it, you saved a lot of careers. It saved yeah. a lot of careers. Yep. Because if, if you couldn't haze the motherfucker, you couldn't smoke the shit out of but it. But it also, right? it, it then also it would have became, then it would have became an incident. Yeah. It and also taught. Yes. It fucking did teach. Yeah. It's very necessary. If you want to, if you want to, yeah, you're taking 18, 17, 18, 19 year olds from wherever the fuck they came from in this country. Yep. And you're putting them in a situation where they, a lot of people don't have street smarts or they don't have. Oh, they're naive as fuck. They're naive as fuck. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. And so to teach somebody instead of ruining, ruining a career. Yeah. It was way more beneficial you show me you're also teaching life skills show me one that person is, that doesn't learn through embarrassment <laughs> show me one person i agree i taught through well, embarrassment a lot and it was probably now it might way. not be the, me, the best way me now but that's because my give a fuck you're gone. not joining the military Correct. now <laughs> right. you know what i like, mean yeah. but at 18 years old yeah. how the fuck else you have an ego the size of this fucking room. You yeah. got to knock them down a bit. You know what I mean? You got like, to. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's because if you now, don't, don't that's how you get Adolfs. No, don't get me wrong. But there were also like, times. If, <laughs> if the things that got done in the units that we were in got done to like 88 mics oh, yeah. or like yeah. finance, you know what I mean? Like another MOS that wasn't like, but hey, if you don't fuck, if you keep fucking this up, people are going to die. Like say, say, instead, say, it's like if you don't fuck this up, we're gonna get a flat tire or fucking right. Sergeant Smith might not get paid yeah. in time. You know, like, like there's gonna be like an uh, like a training accident that kills somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, but like okay, so say there was like say somebody fucked up and they knew they fucked up and they knew it was severe. Right. In that instance, I, I would be like if I was their direct chain of command and i had to deal with it ultimately right yeah i would look at him and i'm like you know i have to do this so and they would be like i uh, roger or you can give them an option like no look, no no i wouldn't i would never give an option we're gonna but do like, paperwork we're like, gonna play games what do you want to do yeah Here's and they a, would pick the game absolutely yeah like day. and if they knew if if it was so severe if it was really serious i would look at the guy and I'd be like I have to do this. You know that, right? They're, they're like, yeah, Roger, that's her. I used know? to have to do that with Ackerman. Yeah. Ackerman and I were like fucking inseparable. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I became an NCO and now I'm his direct team leader. Yeah. And there'd be times where that's an awkward, I'd walk situation. out of the seat. I'd walk out of the CP and I'm like, Ackerman out back. And he'd walk out. And he's like, what's up? Cause that's just how we were. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like Roger Sergeant. Like he'd walk out and be like, what's up? And I'm like, you know, I got to do this. Right. And he's like, okay. And then we <laughs> yeah. play fuck fuck games. Let's go the motion. Yeah. But it, it but, wasn't like 
it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to go easy on him because he's my boy. No. I'm going to actually know. go a little bit harder because yes. you fucking know better. Well, because, well, not <laughs> only that, it's, it's but not there personal, can't, but there can't be the perception. Exactly. That he's your boy and you're doing him a yep. hookup. Yeah, because like, then it comes down on both your ass. Yeah, yeah, and then it's on me, and it's not coming yeah. on me because you fucked up. And, <laughs> and if there's a leader I respect that's fucking me up, because I was in that position, I got fucked up. Yeah. Right? If there's a leader I respected who's doing it, I am fucking. My output is a hundred percent better. A hundred percent better. If it's some fucking piece of shit doing it for no goddamn good reason, yeah, I'm not trying. Bring I was a very my military career. <laughs> <laughs> I was a very hands-on kind of. Wall to wall counseling. Wall to wall counseling was a was a big thing. Tree line talks and whatnot were a big thing with me. But I used to tell my Marines this all the time. I was like, listen, like I like new joins when they first show yeah. up. I was like, I can tell you this. I was like, if you fuck up, I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah, I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. I will put my hands on you. I do not give a fuck. But I will promise you one thing. Yeah. There's not a fucking soul on the planet that will besides me right nobody else will yeah i'll fuck you up but nobody else will yep. and to the point to, and to the point um uh justin lahue the old devil of ramadi himself right yeah was a gunnery sergeant while i was a staff sergeant there at third tracks and he's a fucking war hero navy cross recipient well-known well-respected guy re- ended up retiring as a sergeant major in the special operation community he's a fucking very great guy right he was chewing one of my Marines' asses one day and was like, who the fuck do you work for? And they were like, Snow Storm Fahey. And he was like, go the fuck away. Never mind. <laughs> and like, let him go. And then right. later came up to me. He was like, hey, dog. And I was like, oh. And I was like, so what'd you do? And he's like, I didn't do nothing. I know the rule. And I was like, thanks, brother. Appreciate yeah. you. And I was right. like, I'll handle it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But because there were times when I would see another NCO, like, fucking up my Marine. Yeah. And I'd go out there and w- do not pass go. I knocked him the fuck out. <laughs> Bow! Don't touch my fucking Marine. What'd you fucking do? Uh, uh. And if it was stupid, I commenced the ass yeah, whipping, right? right? Yeah. But nobody else was touching my guys, yeah. right? And that's just how I rolled. And I think my Marines appreciated that. Yeah. The leadership didn't so much because they were like, well, I'm a leader too. And I'd be like, sure. But like but those I, guys, yeah, not yeah, these guys. Cool like, story. <laughs> I get called into the first sergeant's office, you know, and like so-and-so fucked up. You need to go fix this. And I'd give him the little head nod like, hey, this coming from the farm i gotta do this yeah know? yeah and, and you give them that little heads up and then you fucking commence to fucking fucking them up and uh you know it's just it's it's impartial fucking yeah shit show yeah. you know like, I, I don't care who you are like i have to put a show on yeah like i have to do this no matter what i only I whipped an yeah. ass one time on order from hire and it was from a first sergeant and it was like hey that's a i'm leaving for the day so I taught, we never <laughs> got, I, I like, taught through embarrassment. The only time I like, I would never s- just smoke somebody just because I wanted to. Every time I smoke the shit out of somebody, it's because it came from hiring me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, I wouldn't do it just because I wanted to. I would just embarrass the shit out of him if they fucking did something I, I stupid. Did it, I did it when they fucked up, but if they didn't fuck up, I'm not doing it. Just I to do it. I yeah. wouldn't. Do, that wasn't my teaching method. Yeah. The only time I'm smoking somebody is it, it came down that I had to. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I I wouldn't make them do anything physical unless it was because I can, I feel like I can teach in a way better way. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And unless it was like bigger than a team level. Yeah. If it got to a squad level or platoon level. Hey, man. The company. Yeah. Like this is on you. Yeah. Usually it was company level. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When I had to fucking yep. like, like, yeah, they fucked up, fucked up. Yeah. 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 And admittedly, usually if they fucked up too bad, it's like, hey, dog. Yeah. I can't, I, I, I can't just beat your ass and this be over. No, but that's <laughs> like, when they like, fucked up too. when it was company level and they fucked up too bad. I'm in the first sergeant's office being like, let me just go fuck him up and let's not yeah. do it. Let, yeah, yeah. Oh, let me handle 100%. it. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah. time. Yeah. And yeah. that's when I had to go do it. Yeah. It was never. But then you also yeah. had a little bit more motivation too. Cause it's like, uh, well, I'm saving I, your life. I literally just had to put my ass on yeah. the line with, with first art. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're going to remember this evening. Yeah. And then now, <laughs> and it wasn't even for them. It was for everybody else watching. Yes. Yeah. They're going to remember this. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, anyways, there now was, that I have a moto boner and we're sitting in a circle, Johnny <laughs> boy, what are we about to do? <laughs> we're about to Shit, I forgot we were even boy. doing this. God damn right. It's time for the freedom Prince master debate. It's been a minute. Uh, <laughs> we've been sitting here bullshitting for a while. Uh, but we solve the world's problems one mediocre topic at a time. And it looks like we just kind of started our own. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> to smoke or not to smoke. But, but Justin, you did text us 
Yes. I wanted to make sure you all had different answers to this question. Did we? I, I feel w- like I'm very simple minded. I want to know. It was probably a one word answer for you. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> is water wet? Yes. Are you looking at me? Yeah. I don't believe water is wet. I believe the things that water touch is wet. So water okay. touches. Okay. I I I I did the smart guy fucking smart ass answer. Technically, no, water isn't wet because the bonded molecules on a molecular level, <laughs> it's mostly empty space. Yeah. Um, rather than it being wet, right? Um, Justin, can you pull up the definition of wet for me? <laughs> like I said, I was being a smart ass. Yeah. Well, I gathered that since we're doing this debate. Yeah. It's like, oh, you all had different answers. I'm like, I don't know how. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Like water itself isn't wet, but the whatever it's touching is so now wet. Most scientists Covered define or saturated with water or another liquid. Okay, it's okay. This is a more intellectual. But question I, but I think I that goes on along the lines of what I was saying. Covered or saturated with water, or another liquid. Yeah. yeah. So the liquid itself isn't wet, but whatever is covered with it is wet. <laughs> So here it says, most scientists define wetness as a liquid's ability to maintain contact with a solid surface. Solid surface, yeah. Meaning that water itself is not wet, but can make other sensations. If you define wet as made of liquid or moisture, as some do, then water and all other liquids can be considered wet. Some people describe wetness as a physical cooling sensation experienced when water takes energy to evaporate in surrounding air. Hmm. And then it gets really scientific. The balance between adhesive and co- cohesive supports is so the the, blah, the blah. first is water wet is what I googled. Yeah. Water is wet. The next one, water itself is not wet. So even even Google doesn't know. This is this is what I answered, Justin. Technically, no water molecules are loosely bonded, uh, meaning that on a molecular level. It's mostly empty space, but I'm dumb, so you're redacted. (laughs) (laughs) End quote. (laughs) Now I got to redact. Yep. See, now you're making it work, dude. Like, I thought he was just going to quietly read to himself and then start laughing. (laughs) uh, You know me better than that. (laughs) The the substance called water, H2O, can only be wet in the circumference when it's in solid form. Ice is covered in liquid water. There you go. So... Water. So water is not wet. Water can be wet. But ice can be wet. No, yeah, ice can be wet. Ice oh. is wet, but water Water can be wet when it's a solid and it's on the outs- outside of the solid. It's so you're, you're essentially saying water or, or the term wet is a verb. A hundred percent. It's not a noun. It yeah. could be an adjective. It could be an adjective. Yep. It could be an adverb. It could. And it could be a verb. Yeah. It's a versatile word. It's a versatile it can't word. be a noun. It's not like fuck. It's like let me make <laughs> it could give me that wet. I don't know. I've heard I've, I've heard I've heard it I've heard vaginas referred to as my wet wet. Ooh. But that that but ooh. <laughs> but that's yeah that and that would be a noun in, in that context alone. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit of a hood rat. <laughs> she was a bit of a hood rat. She was like, "Come get this wet wet." And I was like. Ugh. <laughs> And then you took your pants off. No, no, <laughs> nope, not this time, man. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this must have been re- recent then. This is when I was in college, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I overheard a conversation that I wish I hadn't. One of those. <laughs> and I was just like, what a fucking hooch. <laughs> hood rat, hood rat, hoochie mama. Yeah, but yeah. So, Scott, have you changed your answer? No. <laughs> I'm simple. It's still a no. Water's wet. Yeah, water's wet. It's a yes. Yeah. So, is a pool wet? Yeah. Yes. Or is, is it not wet until you get in it, and then you're wet? Well, the, the I think you're wet once you get in it. No, once you put water in the pool, it's wet. The pool is wet. Is it? The pool is not the water. The pool is the... That's a, yeah. It holds the water. But can but you, you feel it? Felt? 
It's uh, it Does wet it feel wet? Every time I touch you it. You put your hand underwater and you feel the side of the pool. Does it feel wet? Yes. Is that, it doesn't feel rough? I don't think it Like does. my pool with the Pebble Tech. It feels, that feels rough, rough and wet. <laughs> does it feel wet? It can be smooth or wet. It can be rough and wet. <laughs> So like the girl I'm getting, Mikey a, I'm getting a legit about. boner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not. It's, it's not dry. But can you feel the difference in sensation between your hand in the pool water and your hand against the no, wall? No, because my hand is wet. Now, if I but now when you make now, contact with the wall, the pebble tech that's not below the surface of the water. But does it? But it doesn't feel different. Yes, it feels wet. <laughs> So, so when your hand's under the water, this is stupid, and you run your hand against the pebble tech, and there's no water in between your hand and the pebble tech, it still feels wet. Don't make me quit this spot. <laughs> Usually, it's what? <laughs> I'm just trying. Here. Mikey's wet. He is. <laughs> Fucking a. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't feel it as a sense of like uh. like. A, a physical touch i can feel it as in like a, there's like a wave of humidity coming my way from your wetness yep it's my butthole salivating <laughs> <laughs> it's just sweating. Uh, just sweaty ass crack <laughs> all right so, so is your ass crack wet <laughs> when it's well, hot out yeah when, it, when i'm in texas lately yeah it's got a hurricane coming Already I'm already. By. I'm already. The hurricane already came, already sir. I, I'm already. I'm. I'm getting texts. I just got a text from a buddy of mine out of Florida. It was like, "You guys good? Were you affected?" We just got one too. I got a. We had a buddy of ours uh, that uh, he had a massive fucking tree land on almost all of his vehicles and his house. Who's that? Damn, Mason. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that's that text. Is that what that was? He, I just he I saw put, the video. I didn't watch the video yet. Oh yeah, it got fucked up. Um, it was a big ass tree and it fell and it hit like two vehicles in the house. Fuck. Yep. Oh hot shit. Tub oh and- shit. <laughs> yeah. They got fucked up. Motherfucker. Yeah. He was right in the middle of the fucking path. And he was only, I don't know. Oh, that's a big fucking tree. It's a big fucking <laughs> that's tree. a big ass tree, dude. I saw something like 2.2 million people are like out of power right now. Wow. Yeah. Well, he's probably one of them. Holy fuck. I didn't think he lived that far down, but I guess he does. He lives. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say where he lives. (laughs) Is he uh, how far from Wilmington? He is south. uh, He's southwest of Houston, almost in between Womack and Houston. Yeah. Yep. Will Mac ever want to do a dog? I I'm working that. Um, his biggest thing is the dogs because they are huge dog lovers, and yeah. so he uh, understands why it's used. Yeah. Um. But he is his biggest concern is yeah. I don't want a dog getting fucked up. Um. Which it's always a risk when you. It's always a risk, but these dogs are fucking like the, that'd be like saying, "Oh, I don't want a Delta Force guy to go get an owie," like. That's what he does, motherfucker. That's his <laughs> job. Like, yeah. He was bred to do yeah. this. <laughs> like those dogs, like so they don't care if they get scraped essentially, up. Essentially, I, I, I yeah. the con- the last conversation I had about it was the last time I was down there, and he was like, "I'm game. I just might not go with you, like out oh. in the woods." Well, you should you should invite him to the one we do. I have in the past. Yeah. I'd love that. Um, I know. I'd love like it would be. I think it'd be great. But uh, like I said, he's not 100% against it. Yeah. Uh, the downfall on his ranch, though, is it's, it can be wet. No, there are some parts <laughs> that are. It can be wet there. That's true. Mason might be able to get in, but we're not getting in. Yeah. And, and he's the, getting and, in because they're his dogs. And, and the dogs are going to go. The dogs are going no matter what. Yeah. And it is some yeah. thick, nasty, yeah. fuck all. No human has been there in a long time. Is that ice wet? My hands got water on it from grabbing the ice that was wet. Is it? But I don't think the ice is wet itself. On the outside, it is. On yeah. the inside, it's not. On the inside, it's probably fine. Yeah. Yeah. Because hmm. once moisture freezes, it's no longer liquid. No. Nope. It can't be wet. It's a solid. Yeah. Yeah. But it only becomes a solid when it starts to melt, or a liquid when it, when it becomes starts to melt. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And how. Do y'all want the other topic now? Yes. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, I want to know how have y'all's lives changed with Big the time. changing of the presidents of the United States? I'm fucking nothing. Uh, very little. Uh, I pay more now. Yeah. Yeah. Most recently, it's my life's gotten more expensive. Yeah, there's and, a lot. And Guess previous to that, it got a little cheaper. Yeah. In in the business sense, because our corporate tax structure was less. Yeah. At a fixed rate. Um, but how? Yeah, that's a great question. How does the actual wait, wait, presidency? What year did you get out of the military? Two thousand seven, like January. So you got out under Bush. Yeah. No. Yeah. Obama didn't come until eight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you served Clinton and Bush. Yep. Yeah. All right. I served Clinton, Bush, and Obama. Um, and I will tell you that even working in the government, even on a low level in the military, if you paid attention, there were notable changes. Yeah. Yeah. Like we got that crazy af- budgets that affected. That was war, not necessarily the president. But that affected your life, right? Well, I served under two of those guys during war and both you could tell the difference in like almost, almost like in command climate. Yeah. You could tell the difference. Okay. I can see yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, and then like so the trickle down effect. Well, there, there it, was, it's called yeah. the commander's intent, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the, the commander in chief's intent is definitely echoed by the generals. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, regardless if there's actually merit to it because well, reg- <laughs> no, regardless if it's formal like if there's actually orders oh, or, yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah yeah like you can you can feel the change happen yeah presence um but n- not like when war kicked off when war kicked off there was th- all the changes in the military yeah but that was uh, under one president yeah that wasn't in between but that had nothing to do with the actual president it would have no, no matter that what was just budget that was, that a, was budgetary yeah yeah yeah. Well, and it, yeah, and and the whole war mindset, like you right. know, like the military has recently, well, not even recently. I'm old, but has you know when they made the transition from wartime to not so much wartime, right? I think there was a lot of changes as well. Yeah. Um, but as far as how the presidency has affected me, hmm. I don't know. Like it's been, it's I don't think it's affected me a whole lot. Other than economically, that yeah, you know, like like yeah, there's been like the whole gay rights and the you know all the social things, right? But that just happened. It didn't really affect me, you know. And I'm not going to give a president credit for that those changes. I don't think so. I'm going to give society credit for those changes. I, yeah, I feel not like pre- those, not the president. No. Those changes are going to happen no matter what. I because agree. because yeah. because you look back ten years and you have Hillary saying that you know gay people should not be able to be married you have uh biden saying that uh he doesn't want black people in his kids schools yeah you know it, yeah it was he was against busing yeah he yeah. was against a lot of that shit it, it is time and people and societal pressures that change yep uh the agreed, actual agreed sir who's who's actually president i don't think has had a, a big change um I mean, don't get me wrong. Except they, for economic, they, right? They love to take credit for shit. Yeah. You know, they love to take credit. Um, Biden loves to take credit for shit that he had nothing to fucking do with. Yeah. I created all these jobs. Yeah, you keep failing to fucking talk about the fact that you were coming off the back end of a pandemic. Yeah. Well, he had the worst job record in history. Yeah, dude, he had the biggest fucking pandemic where half the country <laughs> fired everyone. Yeah. No shit, dude. That's yeah. not on him. Yeah. Like, be fucking fair, right. dude. If you're going to take the gloves off, I get it. But yeah. what the fuck, man? Like, don't talk to us like we're stupid that we don't understand that, right? Yeah. Like, personally, though, yeah, at the gas pump, I've seen, I've had fucking Yo, a fuck. huge change. Yeah. The grocery store, I've seen a huge change. It's really just economic. Do you guys remember how long ago gas was in the dollar something? It was a oh, dollar thirty. That was under Trump. Yeah. yeah. During COVID. Yeah. It was a dollar thirty yep. a gallon. At least the, we forget. At the one right next to my house. <laughs> I'm just saying. At the at the gas station closest to me, it was a dollar thirty eight a gallon. And that was in September of twenty twenty. Yeah. And, and and the you know, yep. like you, you look at housing uh interest rates. Like that right now you're paying double the payment on a house. Dude, yeah. well, again. It's but it's all economic. Again, right? fucking December 2021 is when I refied. Yeah. Same. 
And I was within a couple of weeks of you. Yeah. Yeah. Because and we have great I remember rates. you and I were talking about it. We have it great rates. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't we could I get thought I had a great right rate now. when I got my house. And then it went lower. Yeah. 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 And now it's like and pff, what's your rate now? Like two. Mine's two. Two. Yeah. And you're and a fucking now, douchebag. And, <laughs> and now and now you're looking one point eight, baby. Now you're looking at <laughs> six. Yeah. Like, on the low end. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you know, like like and, fuck. That's and a big you'll difference. be lucky to buy down to five. Yeah, and that's why that's why I, I got I, I did get the call the other day. I got the call, and they were like, "Hey, are you interested in refining?" And I was like, uh, no, "No, fuck yourself. No, <laughs> fuck. Are you interested in refining?" And they were like, "I bet you we could beat it." And I'm like, "No, you can't. I bet you can't." And I like they're like, "Well, what's your rate currently?" I'm like, "1.8, 1.875." Yeah, you want to beat it? I was like, "Beat it. If you can beat it, dude, we'll sign the paper now." Yep. <laughs> and he was like, "I can't beat that." Well, the crazy like, part, no, no. shit. Take me off your list. I think me. I only had my house for like three or four months at the time. So May yeah. of 2020, yeah. the average gasoline price in the U.S. Now that's now granted we're a little that's lower across here. The now that's we are dirt California here. included. Correct is a dollar ninety six. Yep, and it peaked June of 22 at five dollars a gallon, and currently it is three fifty seven a gallon. Now what's the other? peak over here on the left in 2008 that's 2008 oh that's when the Thanks world went bum. shit no 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 no. that that was after that's the um, housing crisis yeah yeah yeah. and that was just everything then, went nuts then. And then that dropped down that was a nice time yep um yeah there's a couple dips below two dollars there so what years were the dips go back to the first one 2008 no, two thousand. So that was January oh nine. So that was that January oh nine yeah, was December, Obama took office. December oh eight is okay. Is low. Okay, now go to the next big dip. Down. No, the next one. February sixteen. Oh, so no, that was too. that was right after Trump took office. Right. You know? Weird. Okay. And it stayed pretty fucking low. The next low. dip. What well, was the highest price in Trump's? So two ninety seven, and then in buck ninety six May of twenty twenty it was. A, Dollar ninety. That was also during COVID, and nobody was driving. True, the whole world uh, was shut down then. That's right. So they were just like, "Well, we have all this excess fuel." It peaked at five something. Okay, now hold on. Go to the end. Right, we're almost back into an election again. All the way. No, keep going all the way to the end. Right. So we're we're June, July, August, September, October. So three fifty. So we're five months away from an election. All right, so let's go back to the last election. We're seven months away from a new president taking office. So let's go. Let's go back to 2016. The, that was the last, like day. July 2016. 234. 234. Okay. Or, yeah, yeah, that would have been right before the election. Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That was right before no. Trump took over. No. Yeah. 2016 was election year. Yeah, but why, yes. why July? Because well, because we're in July right now. So uh, I'm comparing. So because right he technically they take office January the, next, years the following year. Yeah, the but, elections in November. True, but election cycles shit goes down. It does, huh. and they don't start it in November. They start the shit right around July to start making people think that oh maybe this guy's well, just like a bad job. Just like Biden just released oil. And it didn't do fuck all for gas prices. (laughs) Well, well, you explained it really well, actually. And I I used your explanation with someone else in this conversation. Oh, how much fuel we burn a day in the U.S.? Yeah, like compared to like what he released. Yeah. Like, dude, he basically. It it was like five hours. He he released like fucking half a day's worth of reserve. Right. It was like nothing. And did you just see that he canceled the the, his plan to refill the reserves because fuel prices are too high? (laughs) <laughs> that makes sense. No, there was he had a there was a plan in place to replenish the reserves that the United States has, and then that plan got canceled because it was uh, fiscally impossible to do. They could not restock the amount of reserves that they left or that they took out without uh, bankrupting more yeah. of the country. <laughs> yeah, color me fucking shocked. You know, like, yeah, I don't know, man. Election years piss me off. They didn't, they never used to, they never used to. And then I started paying attention to, but just how much we're being fucking lied to. Like, and just how much smoke gets blown up our ass 
every fucking day. That's insane. It's crazy. Scott had a great point earlier today. Oh, geez. Was it? Or was it over the weekend? I fucking can't remember because it's a blur. I don't um, regularly have great points. No, we were talking about... Um, oh, fuck. I lost it. <laughs> what were you we talking about? Uh, you had me all excited. I know I did. It was really good, too. I got squirreled. Um, fuck. It was... Uh, Oh, the news cycles about when they decided that, you know what? We're not going to stand behind Biden anymore. Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about the shit that's been going on for years that we've avoided. So (laughs) we all watched the debate and Biden had a bad day. Yes. That wasn't his first bad day. No. We have seen that. His bad days have been happening. We have seen that for years. Yeah. Right. Since he fell down the stairs the first time. The (laughs) The media has a front row view of this they've had it for years something behind the scenes changed the media's mind to all of a sudden let's use this as an excuse to throw him the fuck under the bus yeah which they have done now uh i listened to the white house briefing today and what's her name's trying to like defend his cognitive ability what a shitty fucking job did you did you you, (laughs) it was brutal did you watch the interview he did his first interview post debate Uh -uh. i watched it i watched part of it it wasn't much better it didn't get much better no but see like and it was basically him he was and and he was pretty straight up about it you know he was like i had a fucking bad night i was tired i was exhausted i didn't prepare properly i did this i did this like he had a bunch of excuses that none of them were bad excuses you know, wow. but he just would not tell the absolute truth. And the absolute fucking truth is I'm fucking old. Well, you know, I'm old as so fuck. I, I listened to the White House briefing and all the media were they were asking the fucking questions. This yeah. Time, right. Yeah. They're like, uh, has Biden been seen by this doctor that supposedly visited the White House? And he's a, uh, a, a, a neuro. Yeah. Parkinson's. But it, a Parkinson's specialist. Right. And they're like, well, he's had a neuro exam the last three times, you know, and it's been published, yada, 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 yada. Where where does the president, and this is the question asked, where does the president get these annual physical exams? At Bethesda. At Walter Reed. Yep. Right? So they're like, okay, so this doctor that visited the White House 10 times, that doesn't work at Walter Reed. That doesn't work at Walter Reed. That was a separate instances. Why was he there? And they're like, well, there's army people or there's military people that see the White House doctor all the time. And because of HIPAA, we can't say this, you know, and, and they're uh, hiding behind fucking. Hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's bad. Wouldn't you? Fuck. You yes. have, well, you have to. <laughs> you have any, any port in a fucking storm, bro. But yeah. the fact that they were asking the questions. Right. It's like, where were these fucking three years ago? The day before this fucking debate, he was still protected by the media. Yeah. Now, he's fucking not. Do you have... And uh, so what happened behind the scenes? Do you have Peacock by any chance? No. Uh, I probably do. Yeah. If you do, uh, you can go on there and there's the the post-presidential debate interview with Biden. All right? It's about a week after. Right? Um watch it yeah watch the first five minutes i probably watched 20 minutes of it it's an hour-long interview and the interviewer and i his name escapes me he's a famous journalist but yeah um same like oh, he wasn't shit. he wasn't mincing words yeah he was asking the fucking questions yeah. and about so, this how is your cognitive ability then tell me what happened so something changed yeah something behind the scenes yeah in the media world the fucking the the fucking deep state whoever the fuck it is i don't know well, right I, I think when it's but something across the board i can tell you what it is because you watch i watched that debate and it was normal joe biden to me to me yeah. like it was normal like it wasn't i didn't think it was as bad as cnn made it fucking feel right like well, when you've propped up someone to be a demagogue for as long as they have and that he's the greatest thing ever and yeah. the best choice imaginable and all this. Nope, that's our guy. This is our guy. This is our guy, right? But then over and the, then co- over the course of an hour debate. It's because you can't hide it when it's live. Yeah, but it's not just that. They did hide it. They always hid it. 
for years they hit it. Yeah. It's, there was no difference from that debate as to like the talking about his legs and fucking kids oh. and rubbing. And, and that questions came out, right? That questions came out. It's been like, this isn't the first time you guys have seen this. Yeah. We've Just seen- all of a sudden now you give a shit. Yeah. Because everybody else now sees it. Right. Something behind that's all it is. Something behind the scenes changed. I tell you exactly what, what it is. The that's executives at CNN and MSNBC got together and they were like, "We're no, fucked." No, I don't think they got together. It wasn't them. It was. I think somebody told them. Somebody in the government Probably. said it's okay to throw him under the, the fuck. Yeah, I think they are. Maybe not, but they're they're behind the scenes so, of the government. So you've Let's, been watching billions. Yeah. Nobody in the government. It's true. Has has any say on anything? The say. Yeah. yeah. Of the person that's going to be up, but for somebody it. somewhere decided, let's end this. <coughs> let's Obama, throw this shit up the bus. <laughs> well, but I don't, I don't think it's Obama either. I, I don't know. I don't know the whole theory that Obama is fucking pulling yeah. the strings and he's he's basically still running the country. I don't agree with that. I don't believe that at all. I don't. I think it's fucking, he's not up for his fourth term. Come on. I think that's silly fucking yeah conspiracy. Like I, he's I, not even wealthy. He's I like he's wealthy, but he's not like. What the fuck does he, what say does he have? Yeah. Somebody put him in the position to begin with. Like, yeah. So who put him in that? Position? Exactly. There's some George Soros, something behind the scenes said, Hey, we're going to lose. We're going to lose to Trump. We have to change this right now. Yeah. And yeah. Th- this debate, like it was already, they looked at the debate. It and was like, that's it was, what but it was fucking it's did like, it when they but it wasn't it. the debate well, it was you, predestined when you go the, to the, the horse debate track is going to be the excuse when you go to the horse track you don't bet on the horse with the broken leg and that's what it is you know what i mean like they looked at the fucking debate like a horse track then they've been backing this guy unless, and then all unless, of a sudden uh, he came out lame and they were like fuck unless old caparelli down there tells you to put fucking 500 hey, on yeah. <laughs> <number six. laughs> but and that's basically what it was so like we can't bet on the fucking on the lame horse, man. Like, and don't get me wrong, they're not going to bet on Trump either. Yeah. Because they've they spent the last eight years against him. nine, ten years now just shitting on him constantly. Yeah. So they can't back him. So the fucking media is like, well, what the fuck do we do? I can tell you what to do, media. I can tell you right now what to do. Fair and un fair and balanced journalism. That's what you gotta do, right? Stop playing partisan bullshit. You're not the fucking view, you're the news act like it that's what you got to do right like yeah yeah that's what you got to do like so our old bugs the fuck company commander that's what i'm looking at right now we just we just got a a group text our old company commander who at the time was captain williams yeah is now one star general williams about about to be two star star. well congrats to him yeah that's awesome is he good dude great fucking dude good i didn't have him very long yeah yeah because you were in scouts by the time we got him yeah um no absolute solid fucking company commander that's good man that's Um, good i'm I'm glad i love it i love to hear like good officers that stayed in and kept being good officers well and it's interesting too because he's up like so he got his one he's six to eight months he's up for his two which usually it's you get your one and either you're just a one star yeah or you're gonna be a fucking or they're three or four, four, four soon yeah. is it bad that my first thought is like hmm, how do they convert him into being a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> well like well look, look at general mattis mattis went from one star to three star there's no time and grade time and service one star to four star in yeah. like two years there's no requirements for it yeah and it's all fucking political yeah yep well it's billet driven you know it's billet a Hey, John, we're going to send you over here. You're going to be in charge of SETCOM. That's a three-star billet, so we're going to pin you on a third star. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm a one-star. Yeah, we know. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll send you here for six months for you, too, just in case. Yeah. Yep. That's what they do, you yeah, know? Yeah. And, it, and it's just like, okay, thanks, Jim. All right, no worries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No problem, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it's 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 a, it's a it, uh, fucking... The, you know how there are clearly two justice systems mm-hmm. like what? Hi- like hillary's and the rich people and the rest of us no that's fucking conspiracy take your tinfoil hat off <laughs> well, there's also two militaries yeah. and, in no fucking and, way and that is the political officers i would say major and above uh, i would even colonel say, cur- lieutenant colonel. colonel i'd say there's three different militaries. i know a lot of lieutenant colonels that- no, it's, uh, cur- it's so do I. Colonel and above. Well, just because that, just because they weren't in the club doesn't mean they didn't have no, a fucking view of. It's full bird because if you don't make full bird, then you're like colonel until you retire. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it's bird. Yeah, 
Once you get your bird, then it's just then like, it's okay, cool. there well, we they, go. Well, then you're basically an elected. How many official. people do you know that retired a full bird colonel? Well, a few. And how many of those do you know that that were full birds? I don't want retired as a general. I don't one that's an absolute fucking idiot and retired as a full bird colonel. <laughs> he's one how, of the dumbest people I know. How many years? Uh, fuck, I don't know. But he's army, army. He, he likes to walk around in his fucking little red beret. Oh, that's cute. shit. Yeah, it's real cute. <laughs> I, make, I make fun of him a lot because he shows up. He'll show up in like his actual uniform, and I'm like redacted. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Justin. Sorry. <laughs> He's shaking his head. <laughs> like, but it's like, bro, fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> like, like, God. As a guy who used to wear the red hat, agreed. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right. That would be all right. Yeah. Let's what, say what, that would be like if like we had like a like a let's say we were I was gonna do a skydive. And like we're gonna do a Freedom Friends skydive. We're all gonna go up to San Marcos and just jump out of planes for a day, right? And you showed up in uniform. <laughs> I would. That's I would, this guy. I would hope you would all shame me into a fucking cave. <laughs> I would shame you into being one of the twenty-two because that's what you deserve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Jesus, yeah. man! Like no. fuck y'all, fuck out of here. No, no, no. Maybe not that, but we still, to, we, have to, <laughs> we have to put him on a pedestal. Who? Justin, if he shows up like that. He has to be like the airborne god. Everybody look. Look at him. The whole time we're there to the point where like other people are like, this is awkward. Oh, we, oh, <laughs> oh I'm, I have no doubt in my mind that we wouldn't make it weird. Yeah. hundred percent. So I got, I kind of stolen Ballard one time. I, I think you guys were both there. Really? Yeah. I was, I, I had my national defense service ribbon on my sport jacket. Uh-huh. And it was at SHOT Show. Yeah. We were I was there. there for that. Yeah. And I yep. got introduced by our our bearded frogman i think is the one that's like oh i got you know and he like pointed out like oh thank you for your service you know kind of making fun of me inside joke right yeah yeah because for the listeners national defense service ribbon is given to anybody who joined just during you war. didn't even have to go to basic to get it <laughs> like you joined during wartime i yeah. think i think you had a complete basic training maybe i don't know you might be right. Either way. Well, yeah, right? you have to join during war. But anybody who's in the military got one of these yeah. for a given period of time. And you have a lapel pin. I have a lapel pin. Which is ama- amazing. Right. Wonderful. So a Navy SEAL who was hanging out with some civilian buddies. Not just a Navy SEAL. Like a, a fucking SEAL Team 6 badass. Right. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, thank you for your service. You know, he's giving me shit. You know, like, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. you know, like, yeah, fucking war hero here. You know, and then all of his civilian buddies. I was there were like didn't know the joke and so they're like oh thank you for serving you're like, and he was because- like you see that right there a fucking hero <laughs> 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 yeah. but, so uh, the national defense service medal is no longer issued to those who enlisted after december 31st yeah. 2020 yeah, see you didn't even have to graduate basic you just enlisted and you got it yeah, you should, well, you, so you it says the requirements out. to get it how to get the national defense service anyone who served on active duty or as an active reservist in the united states armed forces during any of the four specified time periods but there is no basic training graduate requirement for no that. you just have to serve during those times you could have been on active duty in basic training for five days and got kicked the fuck out and that is still your medal yeah which is why I actually I think it with pride. I think it's 30 days. Like you have 30 yeah, days. Yeah, probably. Service. Something like that. Right? Yeah. 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 But anyway, um, but it's kind of the same shit. So I stole Valor recently. <laughs> oh, good job. Hey, some, hey look at you. Valor stealing. Yeah. Um, you know how like active duty with ID gets, uh, gets to board planes early? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> with this job that I'm doing, I oftentimes don't get my ticket to my next destination until like the night before uh, or the morning of. So you're the last to board. So I would be the last to board. Fortunately for me, I have. Are you familiar with a Twic card? No. So a Twic is um, it looks like this. Oh, which is just a cat card. It looks like a cat card. What does TWIC stand for? Um, it's Transportation Worker Identification Credential. It's what you need to do uh, security for uh, like maritime and stuff, <laughs> right? And so <laughs> it looks like a military. ID. It looks like a military. It looks like a cat card, right? So I've just been quickly flashing that, and I just board the plane first. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is actually punishable because you are getting you yeah. 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 That's legit stolen valor. I'm fucking stealing valor. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. 
Huh? I respect that. I mean, I don't know if my actual military ID, because I have one of those that isn't expired, that is legit. Like, I don't know if that would also work. It probably would. They probably wouldn't give a shit. Yeah. But. That's yeah. Funny. That's funny. This one works. <laughs> The best part is, is that I clearly don't look no. like I'm in the military. Uh, yeah. And no. as soon as I fucking flash that, I know all of them are like, Green Beret. It's a fucking Green Beret right. or something. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, not with this belly, bro. No. <laughs> like, see that back fat that's poking out underneath my, my tactical bag? I'm pretty sure that that's not so it. So the uh, U.S. Army earns the Army basic training or the, the, no. The rainbow ribbon? You guys have a rainbow ribbon for basic, right? Your gay pride ribbon, yeah. What you guys get is that a medal or just a ribbon? It's an army service ribbon. You, you'll receive the National like Defense Service Medal upon completion of basic training. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, like Marine Corps, when I graduated boot camp, it wasn't within the cool guy period where you got national defense. So, I graduated boot camp with nothing, I had a shooting badge. When did you go to basic? What? Late 90s, 99. Yeah, yeah, you, have a, you totally have a national defense. Well, I do now. Yeah, because you should have. Uh, no, it started on 9 11. From no, June 27th, 1950 through December 31st, 2022. Yeah, that's not true. No, that is totally true. Uh, I got one. I went to basic in 97 and got one. You got one in 97 because of Kosovo. There, Hold was, on, there was a chunk where you didn't get it and it, they didn't activate it again until that's, 2001. No, you didn't get yours till 2001 because it's 1990 to 1995. August 2nd, 1990, November 30th, 1995, and then September 11th, 2001 to December 31st, 2022. You can get yours till 2001 either. What? Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure I got it basically. No, we just got the gay pride one. You get the gay pride. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. just yeah. assumed I got it in basic. I did too. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't get mine because I was a corporal with, huh. with nothing. I don't remember. Like they, was, they didn't do an award ceremony for that one. I was a corporal with absolutely <laughs> no ribbons. I had, I had I had no ribbons as a fucking E four. You know I'm how many you know how many awards badge. I got? I had two shooting badges. You know how many awards <laughs> I got and never actually got them pinned on? Oh. Like I found out about it months later with oh. my fucking S threes. Like, hey, here's just, I found this paperwork. Yeah, but that's a bunch of them. Sure, I only sure, got dude. one the whole time I was in. I was I was, but yours has a V on it. It does. That's true. So there you go. Fuck them. That's, you know what I'm saying? Clearly, that's, I wasn't there for that's, the award. That's that's, <laughs> that's, that's that's the big dick in the room. It's like I got one. I got one personal award, but and it's it, got a V on it. So it, it's on my motorcycle plate. There you go. Yeah, I know. Because the for a long time, I was in the exact same boat. I had a purple heart and I had a combat V on one on another award. Mm -hmm. And I did. I ever tell you when my lieutenant? I had an acting company commander. It was a fucking butter bar. Who showed up and tried to fucking challenge my award? I I had that all the time. I about <laughs> fucking headbutted this little shit. <laughs> Here's the other thing: he's a chogi. His name is Rajesh Mystery, and I was like, "Don't trust him." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm, "Don't trust him." Uh, but I remember we're standing in formation, doing. He wanted to do an alphas inspection for some reason, so we're all in our alphas, which would be like our version of your guys' class A. Yeah, yeah. We're standing there. And he walks in front of me. He's like, oh, hey there, Sergeant Fahey. How are you doing? And I was like, yeah, I'm good, sir. You know, whatever. You know, and I, I'm standing there. You know, I did the whole report thing and all that. And he's like, what'd you, uh, what'd you get your, uh, your V for? And I was like, Fallujah, sir. That's all I said. And he was like, oh, okay, okay. okay. So uh, we have, uh, you, get, you, know, you guys know how you have AKO online? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have a very similar system called MOL. All right. Okay. It's Marine online, right? Um, and it's, it's just like a. You, you take, for those of you listening, don't know what the fuck we're talking about. You take classes or, yeah. you know, it sh you can find your SRB. You can see your awards. You can see the the main like reason it's used is for like sharp. Yeah. And all your other. Or you can also request. Crazy. Well, now your leave requests go through that yeah. now, oh. too. Right. And shit like that. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an all in integrated computer system. Right. And it was just coming on at this point. It wasn't really, really big, but we were using it. So they, they pulled up my awards and on my awards, it was there as a Navy com. But it didn't say with V, right? Yeah. Stolen Valor. Until you clicked on the full view. Uh, and then it said, oh, okay. under devices, it said combat V. And there were stars and shit yeah, like yeah. that on my other ones and all that, right? And they were like, they were like, according to this, it's not. And I just fucking, like, I remember I'm looking at my fucking colonel. Or I'm looking at my my chief warrant officer. Because he was like, he was like, Fahey Kadir. He's like, you don't have a V. I'm like, yes, I do. And he's like, no, you don't. And I was like, yeah, I fucking do. And he's like, I'm looking at your MOL right now. And I grabbed his hand 
like hand over hand, like a fucking little kid <laughs> on his mouse. And I was like, look here, sir, click. And it popped up the full view. And I was like, what's that say? And he goes, I'll handle it. And I was like, and I want a fucking apology. Yeah. And he was like, You're, I'm sorry. I was like, not from you, motherfucker. I was like, you tell that fucking boot, bring his ass down to the ramp and fucking apologize to me. Or the next time I see him, I'm going to fuck with him. <laughs> it was just like, he was just like, and he called and I heard him talking to the lieutenant. He's like, Lieutenant, see, here's the thing. If you're going to fuck with one of my sergeants, don't pick the saltiest fucking dude on the planet. All right. <laughs> like this dude's a fucking asshole. And, and, and he's just like, God, why'd you, out of all of them to fuck with, you fucked with that one. Then I could tell I was just so gonna, I was gonna make more problems for him and I, was, I just let it go. But I was like, <laughs> so army marksmanship badges. I had a distinguished rifleman's badge, which looks different from the other ones. I've seen that, and one. it's a cool one. Yeah, very few people yeah. in the active army have this. Right in the Marine Corps, you only get those unless I, you're on the shooting team. Yes, that's yeah. excellence. In, it's an excellence in competition badge. Yeah. Is what it's called. Yeah, I had to, I had to keep an orders. I had to keep a set of orders in my class A pocket. Yeah, because I got called out on that bitch. All the time. They're like, that's not an army award. It says U.S. Army on the motherfucking badge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a first arm that was like, you can't wear that. What do you mean? Oh, I shit. It's not, it's, that's not an army award, army badge. I'm like, it literally says U.S. Army. Right. Right here on the. Just because you're clearly a fucking pogue and I've never seen it. It's not the, I didn't have the distinguished one. I had the, the EIC, Excellence in Competition Badge. See, Marine ones look, yeah, see, here's the Marine ones down here. So I had that one right there in the middle picture. Oh, well, there's all of them, actually. Yeah. Yeah, go to that one down in the bottom here. Yeah. Yeah. You had the middle one? Yeah, that's a cool one. Well, I had I had the the rifle and pistol, but yeah. What is the fucking... I remember my first time with the computer. Why does this thing hate you so much, dude? It, it does not like me. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a cool marksmanship bat. And yeah. It, and it trumps all the regular marksmen. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's the big dick in the room, dude, for sure. So, yeah, like, so this is our normal shit. Right. That's that's our shit. Yeah. And then if you get expert, then you get like second award all the way down. Like I have tenth award on my rifle. Right. You know the fun part um, about the military awards is you d you're not required to display what you have. No. It's like your top three, right, or whatever. You, you can choose. Oh, you really? do whatever you want with them. You can wear it or not wear it. It doesn't matter. And so, like for the 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 mark, marksmanship badges, um, I qualified expert in everything that I ever had to qualify in, and I only wore my expert with a rifle because I didn't want the fucking ladder jingling yeah. and hang. Like it doesn't, yeah. in my opinion, it doesn't look clean. We don't right? do the, we don't do the ladder thing because you guys right? get but like the a, army does it. For well, like you fucking you you, for like grenade, and yeah, fucking yeah. two or three, yeah. right? Every weapon system, and it's like right? everything it's like, that I fucking ever shot, I qualified expert on, and I'm like. Uh, I have to, like, I think you have to isn't wear. That, isn't that called a ranger ladder? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know what it's called. called. A, I think that's what my brother um, was called was a ranger ladder. But I only ever wore a rifle. Right. And that was it. And, like, there were guys that would, like, choose to wear all their shit. And it's, like, fucking pogue. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, nobody gives it's, a fuck. It's, it's a pogue move, dude. Yeah, it's a, pogue, it's, it's a fucking pogue move. One, it's only good annually. Right. Exactly. It changes every time. You so have to say you go to a 203 range one year and, and you're not the next then. And it's in the middle of your stack. Then you're fucking like, right. Fuck all that. Yeah. I only wore my rifle. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Huh. But it's the same, like, like on, well, at least in the army, like, so on our fucking, well, BDUs, whatever they called them at the time, like you could wear all your shit, airborne, air assault, CIB, yeah. EIB, whatever the fuck it was. Or you could take it all the fuck off. And yeah. You're not required to wear it. The only, like the only people who are like, I don't, I don't know if we're no, required you, you, to wear it. You have to wear name tape, U.S. Army, rank, and unit a patch. unit patch. And that is it. Nothing else is a requirement. If you want to put them on there, you can. I don't know. I never had a cool device in my, in my camouflage utility uniform. Yeah. That's recon shit. Those guys wear their jack and all that. Oh, but every branch but you, is different. Yeah. I didn't do that. The Marines, they don't give you out a bunch of cool shit. All we the don't time. get a lot of pieces of flair. Yeah. No. You know, the Nazis made the Jews wear flair. Just like the army. It makes you all wear flair. It's <laughs> just saying. You guys have to wear flair all the time. It's always like, look at my patches. I got so many patches. I, I don't think it was so much flares; it was armbands. Armbands. Yeah, they had to wear stars on their arm. The Jews, the Nazis made them do it. Yeah, that's flare. It's a piece of flare. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the uh, the barcode. Oh, the tattoos. Yeah. All, I guess that's also 
God. It's less fun flare. <laughs> that's for sure. The barcode. <laughs> that's not cool flare. Uh, that's the opposite of cool flare. Yeah. That's fucked up flare, man. Um, I think that's why my family is so mad when I got a lot of tattoos. You should have got a number. I didn't have a number. Well, you have I a, did have a number. It's on my side. You have your dog tag. <laughs> I my meat it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> I had those. They fell out. What? We did them on ship with cami paint and a idiots. homemade gun because we're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had literally, we had like probably two thirds of the platoon go get them done before yeah. we deployed. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. had mine for a while and they fucking. A lot of us got the Marauder tattoo. Yep. Yeah. I ended up covering up my social just. Well, the main reason is because uh, after I got out, I went to Mexico. He finally, no, no, fuck that. He finally memorized it. He's like, I don't need it anymore. <laughs> That's really it. <laughs> like, last four, I just lift my Did shirt Did you redact up. it? Huh? Did you, like, redact it? Kind of. I, I kind of filled it in so you couldn't really read it. Um, but now it's old enough where, if, like, you get, I if, I, if I give you, like, 30 seconds up close, you could fucking I think figure that, out what that would be kind of a funny tattoo idea. You have, like, the, because, you're, you're like, what's the most cliche meat tag, right? It's, like, the three scrapes where you see the ribs and the dog tag chain wrapped around it and they're dangling. What if you redacted them and just wrote none of your fucking business? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> For religion, you should have put Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is your uh, religious say? Uh, is it a no pref? No, it's actually uh, so it was gonna be. Yeah, and that's how it was gonna be on my dog tags, and um, because eat. at the time that's legitimately that's what it was. I was like, fucking, don't care. Yeah, like I had when I was in, I had atheist on when, when I was in basic. I would go to a bunch of different shit on Sundays just but to I, see which one was cool. So I really get out of cleaning. I realized <laughs> I wasn't an atheist. Right. Um, I was like, eh, but not. so <laughs> I ended up putting and so talking to the dude that was doing making like. The dog tags, and it wasn't like the guy who actually stamped him. It was just the guy who filled out the paperwork. Yeah, and, you fill out uh, the little card. You get yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was, I was just like, no preference. And he's just like, really? And I was just like, I didn't think this is a conversation that we're you and I were supposed to have. You right. know what I mean? <laughs> and he, and you literally, this is the only reason I, I put what I put on there. And he goes, you know, if you have no preference and you die on a battlefield, they just step over you, go to the next guy. And like something like triggered in my brain. Who steps over you? Nobody. Uh, no, but like something like a bold face. Yeah, lie. <laughs> and some, something like whatever. And so it's just like, okay, so how, what do I put? For so somebody the, chaplain, to not step the chaplain, over me? the chaplain's not going to give me my last right. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, according to that, you are non-religious. That's, it was just like, well, oh, okay, that's okay, fine. It didn't say guy. atheist. It said no preference. Yeah. <laughs> but, but like, even if I was re- even, even though I am religious and I put no preference on the dog tag. Yeah. Doesn't mean I'm going to hell because the chaplain stepped over me and didn't give me my last right. Yeah, but I mean, I'm 18 and I don't fucking, I, yeah. I can't think. I'm going to assume that's on the chat. Actually, like, what, the chaplain's I even going to hell for that. <laughs> I think. But no, I put no religious preference because if I got. I it's this are you trying to feel it right now? Yeah, because so I, I, get, I get a little nub in the middle of one of my tattoos over here. And so I was trying to feel for Lift that. Lift it up. Let me see. This, yeah, because this one's my platoon logo. That's your platoon yeah. logo. Yeah. That's your Marauders. But it, I put no religious religious preference because if I got captured, I didn't want the fucking the Muslims to fucking. Well, you have uh, that tattoo is stretched. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Call me fat. <laughs> this said you're a little thicker than you were when you got that. Well, I got that. I was probably dude. I'm getting fat girls down. I'm not fucking talking shit, right? <laughs> like my pinups are starting to get thuggy. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. probably one. Judging by Mikey's that. tattoos, he likes fat chicks, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> bitches were skinny when I got them. Shit, yeah. are those cankles? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those, now instead of shaking it, she's actually twerking. <laughs> <laughs> This has gone on too long. Yes. All right. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, guys. Smash Water's wet, God damn it. Let us know what you think about water. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> I don't even remember what the other one was. I don't either. What was the other one? Well, uh, how has your life changed with the changing of U.S. president? Yeah, you know what? Let us know about that, too. We're curious because mostly, obviously, most of ours is all just, you know, from economics. I imagine most of our listeners, their life has gotten way better in the last three and a half years. Totally. Yeah. Totally. That would be my guess. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, the whole world has gotten better in the last three years. Yeah. That's, that's can't you too. tell? Yeah. Only like two or three extra wars. Yeah. But, you know, like, but, but 
interest they're not rates, ours. gas prices. <laughs> We're paying for the motherfuckers, but they're not right. ours. Oh, but we don't have boots on the ground. Well, I mean, and nobody, nobody's died. Nobody's under this guy's watch. Nobody's died. Not one. Nobody's died. Yeah, not one. Especially not those thirteen individuals who died Wait. during the Afghan what? Uh, pullout. That oh, didn't happen. That right? was smooth as shit. He just fucking forgot about that again. Why hasn't he addressed that shit yeah. since then? Well, that wasn't Fuck because you, it either is a lie, which he doesn't lie. Trump lies, or it's uh, my Trump do? my brain doesn't lie. work anymore. Right? You no, answered he just every didn't question, it. Joe, and yeah. you didn't shit your pants. <laughs> the only reason that the Afghan well, we pull don't know was that. so bad was because that's how Trump set it up. <laughs> yeah. right? It's definitely his fault, right? Th- this is what he fucking said. I know. I know. But but he went and visited the soldier that lost his arm that he tried to shake. Well, <laughs> and then that soldier was like, and his mom was like, fuck you. What do you, <laughs> and, what and, do then, you and, and then he, yeah. he went to Normandy and talked to all the World War II veterans that died. Yeah. Which yeah. is, yeah. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. Super impressive. I think he just had an episode. It was like, I saw him. I talked to him. <laughs> they all died. In World War II, I mean, I talked to him. You know what's weird is when I went to Bella Wood, he'd came out there recently because there was a fucking reef from the president at that chapel. And I remember thinking, I was like, you know, why were you here? You hear these stories about these people that are close to death and they hear things from the other side. (laughs) We need to wrap it up because I can keep going on. Yeah, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Smash those buttons. Do all that shit. I'm gonna raise my glass. Say cheers, boys. Thanks for being my freedom friend. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Uh, hey, three little things. They're pretty easy. He just did it. I just did it. He wow. did, he just did he just did his favorite one. Drink. What, what's the first one? Uh, Smoke on. Uh, yeah. That one. And and drinking on and. <laughs> <laughs> J- drinking on. Well, we the goddamn kids room to fuck my mouth. Freedom in the fuck <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking freedom it on. And you know the thing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not kidding around. You know what I mean. What? Anyways, anyways. <laughs> fuck out of here. Bye. <laughs>